Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Hub Fuel. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at line items within HubSpot. Line items are a useful way of creating the goods and services that you are selling to your clients within HubSpot. Once line items are created, you can then associate these with deals and with quotes. To do this, if we navigate over to settings, scroll down to data management, and then under the objects tab, we have this products option here. As you can see, our product library already has a few folders created with various products within these folders. But on today's episode, we're going to be looking at actually creating new products. And there's two ways we can do this really. So the first way is we can actually use this create product option and individually create each product one at a time. So for example, if I was to create a taps product, I could give it a name. I can also set the product type. So for example, on this occasion, I'm going to set this as hardware. And I can also put this into a folder automatically. From here, I can set the price, the currency that's set up in my HubSpot portal. So for this, I'm gonna set it as 50 pounds. I can set how frequently I want this build for. I can set the actual unit cost. So this is obviously the cost to ourselves. So I could set this as 30 quid. And what you'll see here is that it's automatically worked out our margin of 20 pounds. And I can also set the multi-currency prices if we have multi-currency set up in our portal. I can set how long this is build over in terms of the months. And once I'm happy with all of this, I can click save. And as you can see here, this has created that product for me. Now from here, I can either move this to a new folder I can edit the product itself, or similarly, I can delete the product. I'm going to delete this product because I'm going to also show you the process of creating this item from an import. So to do an import, if I navigate over to the Actions tab here, and then click Import, I can start a new import. I can select this as a file from our computer. It's going to be one file on this occasion, and it's also going to be one object, as it's just the product object. If I scroll down to my product object and select that, I can then choose the file that I want to upload from here. So if I quickly drag and drop the file in, and once that's set up, make sure it's in the right language for the column headers, and then I can go next. As you can see, it's automatically pulled through the column headers from my file. So on this occasion, the product name, the description, as well as the unit price, and it's mapped it to the relevant properties. So product name has mapped to the HubSpot property of name, Description has mapped to the product description and the unit price has mapped to the price in pounds. Once I'm happy with my mappings, I can then click next. Check the final details, including the import name, as well as the number format that I want this set to, which again, I'm going to set it to United Kingdom. And then I can finish the import. As you can see, it's imported the two rows and two records, which if we look at my Excel sheet, you can see two rows, two sets of descriptions, two sets of unit prices. Now that the import is done, we can check this out in the actual library. So again, if I navigate to my settings, down to data management, objects, and then products, you can see the two new products that have been created. On this occasion, taps and radiators. I'm now going to move these to a new folder to keep things neat and tidy. And if I now navigate to that installations folder, you can see taps and radiators have been added as a list of products. And that covers everything to do with creating products in HubSpot. Thank you for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video.